welcome to Stella. This is our 1973 Dodge Coachman. Uh, she's a 20 foot camper. Everything inside is all original. Um, I am completely gutting it and renovating it. So the layout's gonna be completely different. Uh, it's really cute. It's in pretty good shape for its age, but I wanna make this space a little bit more functional for what we're going to be using it for, which is going to be everyday use. Um, the bed right now, the like full size bed is above the cab and I'm actually going to put that down here um, where this dinette is. Um, and then I'm gonna actually create a wall here that kind of divides the bed from the living and dining room. The kitchen will be on the other side of this wall and then back where the kitchen is currently will be a little sofa. Um, over top of the cab where the bed is now will be storage. Um, yep, closet back there. And that's about it. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour. So, if we're coming from the wonderful little cab here, which I will show you, the seats and everything are all original as well. Um, the passenger seat's actually in really great shape. The driver's seat, maybe not so much. She's got a little wear and tear, but luck uh, luckily, luckily or thankfully, my partner sews, so she can get that back into original shape. So, a really cool feature is that this has curtains that go all the way around. Got a nice little steering wheel um it's definitely taken some getting used to i've never driven in a car this old um and a manual choke what is that um i actually had to use that for the first time today because it's like 50 degrees which isn't that cold but stella stella is um she's old so she needs a little bit of extra love and care um so it's just the front this is the newer radio that is not currently working. There's a bunch of electrical issues in the front that I have to get fixed, um, but whatever. Um, we have our wipers, our compass, you know, for when our phone dies. We have a cigarette lighter. Don't smoke, don't smoke. Um, yeah, so that's just kind of the front part. Um, and then above us is actually the full-size bed that kind of folds down from this little taco flap situation here. Um, there are curtains that will kind of divide this space right now. Um, I'm going to be creating a wall actually with a little pocket door so I can lift up or kind of like an accordion situation so that I can kind of go from the cab to the rest of it, um, without it kind of feeling like one thing. I want to have a little bit of a division. And then right here will be Jasper's little sleeping spot for when we're driving. I would love to let him in the back but sometimes he gets car sick and I just don't really feel like cleaning all that up every time. Also, really cool feature. Maybe I should show you on this side because the sun. Um, these little, I think they're called fly windows. My mom was really pumped about these. Oh, speaking of my mother, she's home. Um, hello, excuse me. There we go. They kind of pop open. Y'all can say hi to King Kathy. My mother's a gem. Hi mom, I'm doing... I'm here to let out. I'm doing a video of the um, inside of this before I renovate it. This is King Kathy. Hi. <laughs> Kathy thinks I'm crazy. She's right. You know what's crazy? I thought that I was just recording this whole thing, um, and I wasn't. So we're going to do another quick little tour. So I'm currently sitting at the little dinette, and there's Jasper. Um, this has that really cool map on it, which like maybe I'll use, but maybe not. Um, and we're kind of looking at it that way. Super, super big bench couch. Like for the size of this thing is only 20 foot and this is like six feet long, which does pull out to another bed. Then we have the kitchen over this way. Um, this will eventually, the corner will be the little couch area. I'm gonna double this to be a closet. Um, and this really large fridge, um, that's gonna go as well. And then let's see what else. Oh, the bathroom. This is the bathroom. If I were to stand, with my right shoulder at the edge and I put my arm out, that's it. It's very small. I am 5'4", and this is like a very small, and it's also very yellow. Like very, 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 very yellow. Okay, so I'm currently in the shower. Conveniently, there is a mirror. So you can see that I'm standing against one wall, right? And then here's the other wall, like right here. Sink, very small. And then, oh, sorry, puppers. I just need them into face. This 
really cool feature, which I will not be keeping, but it is pretty cool. And, excuse me. Oh, there we go. It's a toilet! It's like a little collapsible toilet. That's pretty cool. Like, that's real space saving, and I'm into that. But that's going to go. We're going to do a little composting toilet. Um, and the last thing is going to be the bed, like the main bed, um, which will become storage. But let's see if I can actually do this. Okay, so this thing kind of like folds. So if you want to like stand in the cab, you have that. Um, but then this just kind of folds down. It's really annoying to get up to, but it is a full size bed. It's real small. Like if I were to lay here and go to sit up, like, I don't know. I feel like if I'm on a pillow, I have maybe seven inches above my head. That's way too tight. Um, I feel like this would be ideal for children aside from the fact that they could just like fall. Um, but it's just very tight up here. The nice part about this is it has a little um, vent, which I might move, but I'm going to make this into storage. So I'm going to kind of build a wall here and I'm like so out of breath. Either I'm talking too much or that climbing was a lot or both. So I'm going to build a wall here. The back part of this will be storage. The front part of this will also be storage, but it'll, it'll kind of be open. I'll have like big baskets and bins for like decorative ones, cute for shoes and blankets and coats and that kind of stuff. The bulky things, but can be in sight. Um, so the, yeah, that's that. The wall that I'm gonna build here is gonna divide the cab from the rest of it. Um, we don't really have like AC or heat that's gonna be built into this thing. So I think having these walls kind of encase the bed is gonna help too with like insulation. Um, you know, if it's like a cold day, we put on a little like propane heater, then it really only has to heat that super tiny area. Not that this thing is large by any means. It's like 86 square feet, if that. Um, so I'm really excited. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. My friends and partner and family and stuff have been listening to me talk about this for like three years. Um, and I'm very invested in this. Um, and so it's just really nice to have a platform that I can talk to people that really want to like listen and watch. Um, I'm going to try to get this baby to a mechanic in the next couple weeks or so. Um, see what's going on under the hood before I just start tearing this thing out. Um, I'm really, really excited to do that though. I'm a DIY. I was going to say queen. I'm a DIY bitch. I love DIY. And that's really what this is. It's just a big DIY project. And I get to, whoa, you still taping? Um, yeah, so like getting out of this thing, like this just is just far less than ideal. Whoa, look at he's climbing on the driver's seat. Look at him go. Are you ready for adventure? Woo -woo! All right, that's gonna be it for this little tour. Thank you again for watching. Um, that's Stella. That's Stella as she is right now. All right. Jasper says we have to go. Bye.